what does it mean to be a liberal or a communist or anything else? I mean, the uh, you know, point that Orwell made, I mean, the uh, uh, one way of trying to uh, uh, undermine independent thought and uh, uh, creative approaches to the world is to simply d uh, destroy the way of talking about things. So the, wor the words literally almost have no meaning. In fact, by now, just about every word has that's used in political discourse has at least two meanings, uh, a literal meaning and its opposite. And it's the opposite that's <laughs> normally used. So uh, take, take a contemporary debate that's going on right now. Uh, you, you see uh, uh, headlines in newspapers about a report on uh, uh, foreign fighters in Iraq. Uh, Condoleezza Rice uh, announces that she's got a, that there's an easy, asked a question about how can we settle the problem in Iraq, so it's quite easy. Just keep the foreign fighters out, keep the foreign weapons out, and it'll all be settled. And you know, nobody bats an eyelash. Are there 150,000 U.S. troops there? I mean, are they bringing in weapons? They're not foreign, uh, because anything we do is not foreign. If we invaded Canada, uh, they would be enemy combatants, uh, and we would be there by right. Uh, so the concept of concepts like aggression, invasion, terror, uh, anything you mentioned does, doesn't exist. I mean, take, take democracy. Uh, George Bush was in uh, Egypt yesterday uh, praising President Mubarak. And the Egyptians are writhing at, at the same time he's giving talks about how we have to promote democracy and so on. I mean, they just come from Saudi Arabia, the most extreme, uh, one of the most extreme fundamentalist territories in the world. Uh, you know, uh, see a picture of him with uh, King Abdullah watching a horse show and so on and so forth. I mean, w what are we to make of all of this? Uh, the terms for discussing things have been almost evacuated of content.